video I will tell you how to make your own quadcopter using KK 2.1.5 board or Arduino Uno. So this quadcopter costs around $200 or 13,000 rupees. So in this video I will be telling you how to go about making your own quadcopter, how you assemble this and what all things you have to be careful about and what improvements can you make, what sensor calibration you have to do, what all materials you need where will you find them and all the things you require in making this for option. So let's start the video. So first of all you need this F450 frame which cost around 800-900 rupees and you can find it on Amazon or the local store and all. After that you need this 10 into 4.5 propellers. In one packet there are two types of propeller, one is clockwise and there is anti-clockwise. For this quadcopter you need 4 of them and 4 propellers cost around 200 rupees. Then you need 4 of these 1000 kW brushless motors. You can use 1400 kW motors also for more power but they need more battery power. So 1000 kW is suitable for this quadcopter. Each of these motors cost around 500 rupees. Then you need this KK 2.1.5 board which cost around 1500 rupees. You can either use Arduino Uno, also Arduino Uno cost around 500 rupees and in addition then you will need MPU6050 sensor which cost around 200 rupees. Then you need 4 of these 30A ESCs. Each ESC cost around 500 rupees and please ensure that the ESCs and the brushless motors which you get has already bullet connectors. So it will be easier for us to connect them otherwise you have to solder them. Then you need this landing gear, it will cost around 400 rupees and it is useful for ensuring safety of our drone because if drone directly crashes then there is no impact on the frame and landing gear absorbs the impact. Then you need this 2200 mAh 11.1 volt LiPo battery. You can also use higher capacity LiPo battery but it will increase your weight but it will also increase your flight time. This LiPo battery can give you around 15 minutes of flight time and this battery costs around 1200-1300 rupees. For this LiPo battery you also need a balance charger. This balance charger costs around 500 rupees. This charger can charge your battery in around 1 hour. Then you need a transmitter for your quadcopter. I am using Flysky FSCT6B transmitter which costs around 3000 or 3500 rupees. You will also receive a receiver with this. Many people might think that you can control your quadcopter using your smartphone Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I also thought the same earlier but if you control using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth then the chances of crashes are high. This is a Fly Sky CT6 v transmitter and in this you have to use 8 AA batteries for powering this. This is our receiver which we receive with the transmitter set. Then you need some basic stuff like a soldering iron, some soldering wire. Then you need some thick wires to connect to the battery. Please use some thick wires otherwise the wire may get burnt. Then you need some zip ties for your cable management. Then you need this battery Dean's connector which you can find for around 100 rupees. Then you need two different screwdrivers for our frame. One screwdriver for tightening the screw for the motors and one for the frame and the landing gear. The frame screws are around 2.5 mm and the motor screws are around 3 mm. Then you need a very thin screwdriver for tightening up the propellers. Please find a very thin screwdriver on your local shop. If you are not using an KK board then you need to use Arduino Uno. This Arduino Uno costs around 400-450 rupees. For Arduino Uno you need some additional items. These are as follows. You would need some L-type header pins for soldering the wires to the Arduino. You would need, you would need a small bright colored LED for indicating low battery voltage. You would also need some resistors, some 240 ohms, some 1K resistors, some 1.5K resistors. You would need an MPU6050 accelerometer come gyro sensor. If you are using an Arduino, you will also need a 9 volt battery connector with DC jack. If you are using an Arduino, you would need some 9 volt batteries. As these would finish up very fast, we would need plenty of them. 
we would need many jumper wires if we are using an Arduino. I would suggest at least 10 to 15 male to male and male to female and at least 5 to 10 female to female jumper wires. Now coming to the total cost involved in making this quadcopter, I will show you the list of the materials in short and the total cost. Now talking about the steps which you need to start to make your quadcopter. First of all you need to solder the ESCs to your bottom frame. Please ensure that you solder positive wire of the ESC to the positive and negative to the negative. Here you will see positive and negative sign. Positive of ESC is the red wire and negative of the ESC is our black wire. Do the same for all the four ESCs. After you have soldered all the ESCs to this board, then solder two wires for battery connector. For this also ensure that you solder the correct wire. Our battery connector is a Dean's type connector. So the vertical one is the positive one and the horizontal one is the negative one. You will need to screw up 8 screws for the landing gear 2, 2, 2 and 2. 16 screw for the top part 4, 4, 4 and 4. After you have screwed up the frame then the next step would be to screw up your motors. Each motor would require 4 screws which are supplied with the frame. Now after that fix your battery between these two parts of the frame. Now tie up all the ESCs with these cable ties so these ESCs don't hang loose. Tie ESC wire to the frame over here. Then the next step is please fix your KK 2.1.5 board on the top part of the frame using double sided tape. If you are using Arduino fix the Arduino over here using double sided tape. After fixing your KK board fix the receiver beside. Please ensure that the receiver is near to the receiver channel pins of the KK board because this wire is short the receiver channel pins are on the left of the KK board. Now coming up to the wiring of the ESCs and the motors because in the brushless motors and the ESCs it is not fixed that you connect this wire to the red one, yellow one or black one. You can connect any wire of ESC to any wire of motor. For first motor connect all three in continuation. Then to change the direction of the motor just interchange two of these wires. Now coming to the wiring of the KK board just connect the wires of the ESCs on the right part like our first ESC wire which is this one is connected on the first pin. The second one is connected to the second pin. The third wire from this ESC is connected to the third pin. And fourth wire from this ESC is connected to the fourth pin. Just ensure that the first ESC wire which is going to the ESC the motor of that is in clockwise direction. For the ESCs the wire order is as follows. Connect the leftmost wire to the signal wire of the ESC the middle wire to the positive wire of the ESCs which is the red one and the rightmost wire to the negative wire of the ESC which is black or brown. When you are connecting wire to the receiver just ensure that this white one is on the left and here the white one is on the right. Signal goes to signal, positive to positive, negative to negative. And when these three are there the white one is for channel 3 and here the white one is also for 3. Black is for 1, here also black is for 1. Same goes for all the 3. Just do this for, for successful connection to the receiver. So when you go to the receiver test, the KK board, so just check when you are moving things, it is working same in the receiver test. When all things are 0, it should show 0 in here. Now you can mount the propellers on the motors. First just fix this screw which comes with your motor on the top of it now put this screw like this now put your propeller just ensure just ensure where 10 into 4.5 is written it should be on top now just put the propeller now put this nut which comes with your brushless motor tight up the nut slightly with your hands first tight this up further Use, you use this thin screwdriver just try it up please ensure one of the most important thing while mounting the propeller the most common mistake which everyone makes due to this your drone may not fly I initially made the same mistake so please ensure like if your motor is moving anti-clockwise then this propeller should be like this so when it moves anti-clockwise the straight part of the propeller 
cuts the air. Now at this point all of our setup and wiring for the KK board is complete. For Arduino I have given the schematic in the description which I have used from the YMC Air project. Also for the code of Arduino I have given in the description. The credit goes to Jack Brooking for the YMFC Air code which I have provided in the description. So for Arduino all the things will remain the same. Just you will use Arduino and connect the ESC and receiver wires to the Arduino as pointed in the schematic given below. Just change one thing, do not power Arduino using the LiPo battery as the Arduino can cause problems. Other option is to power it using a 9 volt battery. Now our quadcopter is ready for our first flight. Please be careful, never fly quadcopter inside your house, always fly outside and always fly in a large open space. So it doesn't hurt anyone or even if it crashes there is no big damage. Always try to fly on grass otherwise flying quadcopter can be pretty dangerous. Don't expect your quadcopter to be successful at first because you are not expert at flying your quadcopter. So before your first flight ensure all the screws are tight enough otherwise there could be problems. problem. Now I will fly my quadcopter. This video is over now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, if you have any questions write in the comment section and give any suggestions in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching the video, now the last part is about flying my quadcopter.